Good morning, you beautiful nerds. And you may be asking yourself, Corey, what is that beautiful dirigible that you have right there? How do you get that? That's amazing. Uh, I was able to get Zekvir tier two down yesterday and did the let me solo him achievement. And I'm very excited about it. And I just had to show that off in today's uh, daily delve video. So let's get into it. Let's make it short. Uh, we are going to go through the daily delves for today, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, October 2nd. Uh, happy Spooptober, everybody. So we're going to go through the, the what we have here. Don't forget. It is the the Delver's weekly bonus week thing. So there's two quests that you can actually get this week just for doing Delves. One of them is the weekly, which will reward champion 597 gear. Uh, and also there is another one that you can get from Bran himself in the little Delver's post area uh, to do three. And that's one of the weeklies to do three Delves. So if you have both. And by doing the five, you'll obviously have done the three. So uh, let's get to the story stuff, though. Kriegval's Rest is going to be Lost Keepsakes today, a pretty common one. Fungal Folly is going to be our Bountiful here in the Isle of Dorne. And that is going to be Lost Miners, which is up all the time. Uh, no real tricks to either of those. The Bountiful is pretty easy as long as you use the spores to kill everything. Earthcrawl Mines is going to be Kidnapped Earthen. We get that one a lot. Uh, so no real big things there. The only thing I would recommend is uh, to make sure you kick Runic Shackles at the very last boss fight. Everything else is kind of okay if it goes off. Runic Shackles, though, is the big... That's the important thing to make sure you stop that from happening. Uh, and then we have the Ringing Deeps. Waterworks is going to be the Bountiful today, and that is Captured Engineers. Uh, just remember to stay away from the Konals of the Task Finders. Try to kick the uh, the Mystics. Pull small, because there's bleed effects that can go out from different Kobolds. Uh, just be careful when you're pulling stuff in Waterworks in any of the Kobold Delves, and you'll be okay. Dread Pit today is going to be Lost Gems, one of the easiest... Uh, one of the easiest delves in the game, in my opinion. Uh, and if you are struggling on the final boss, it's a, one of the big Crypt Lord spiders. You can, when it does its stinging swarm, it does a ton of damage. You can actually range that. Um, so if you're already ready and running before the cast goes off, uh, you'll probably only take a tick or two uh, before you can, you know, get away from it there's no rush right these aren't times so you're you're not in a, a rush to kill uh the final boss so that's a little tip if that's doing a lot of damage to you for hallow fall today we have mycomancer cavern which is going to be missing pigs uh you have to go run around get some pigs you can use the spores just like in fungal folly for skittering breach today we're going to have old rituals uh which is one that's up all the time i think it was actually just up Sinkhole is going to be Illusory Rescue again, which I believe is the third day in a row, if I'm not mistaken, that we've actually had Illusory Rescue. So I mentioned it in yesterday's video. I've mentioned it in any time Illusory Rescue is, is up. Uh, the Arathi that you need to rescue are the ones that won't have the line behind them. There's a very subtle, very faint line behind them. Uh, those are the ones you want. However, keep in mind that this week we do have the Sign of the Explorer buff. So Delver's journey progress gains are increased by 25%. Companion experience gains are increased by 25%. And Undercoin gains are increased by 25%. So the XP for Bran is going to be 25% more by killing mobs. So maybe it's worth doing, especially if yours is a little bit behind in levels. Uh, more levels for Bran is a good thing. Nightfall Sanctum is the Bountiful, and that is going to be Dark Ritual. Uh, just make sure you're kicking stuff and watch out for swirls, and you'll be just fine in that, just like always. Ajkahet, the Spiral Weave, is going to be Tortured Hostages, uh, which we get pretty common, too. Uh, it's the real rare one there is from the Weaver with Love. Uh, we haven't seen that this week, so hopefully, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, Takrathon is going to be Goblin Mischief, one of my favorites. You have to repair a big machine, and then you can just get, jump into the vehicle and murder everything. Uh, I recommend getting a Drainic Water Breathing Potion, or you can get uh, the Kalawak Fishing Pole. Any of the underwater ones, the, something like that is good. And the Bountiful is Underkeep, uh, and that is going to be Torture Victims, which I believe was also just up. So, uh, Torture Victims. Yesterday was Evolved Research. I think the day before that was Torture Victims. Uh, nothing really to say about that one in Underkeep. It's not... Uh, it's a pretty straightforward dungeon. Dealing with, uh... You're dealing with Nerubians. Uh, and then, of course, there's Zekvir's Lair 1 and 2. Uh, a little tip for that is... For Zekvir, there's two things that you need to kick no matter what in, in Tier 1 and Tier 2. We'll just, we'll just talk a little bit 
about Zekvir. Uh, something that I've noticed that folks don't seem to know is that his enfeebling spittle cast that he does, it puts out a, a debuff on you, a dot, um, as well as a slow effect. If you have anything that removes a root, a snare, anything like that, um, that will actually, it, it, you can just let that go off. You'll remove the dot component when you remove the speed component too. So a shaman can go into Ghost Wolf and get rid of it. A druid can shapeshift and get rid of it. A paladin can Blessing of Freedom. Anything you have that removes a root effect or a snare, uh, that will that will just take care of Enfeebling Spittle and you don't have to worry about it. So that's super useful. And then the only thing that you have to really worry about kicking on that fight is if a cocoon goes off, the web blast from the ad. But also just Zekvir's regenerating carapace. Just make sure that gets kicked and you'll be just fine. Uh, especially tier one. Tier two is tough. It's really tough. Let me know if you want to see a guide or something about that from a prop paladin standpoint. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, we also do have some information about the season's journey delve stuff. Uh, it seems like there's a new key. Maybe it's active this week because of the thing, uh, which, by the way, my season journey is done, which is very exciting. I'm a little annoyed about something, though, Blizzard. Uh, so let's talk about it. Um, the... The season journey, each tier of these that you see, there's 10 in total. Each little bar here, even though there's no number displays, each bar is 4,200 Delver's journey reputation, whatever you want to call it, is 4,200. So that means 42,000 is how much you need to max out your season your season one journey. Uh, and there's varying amounts of rewards that you can get if Zekvir shows up. In your, in your delve, you can get bonus from that. Uh, the higher bountifuls you're doing, the more reward you'll get for your season journey. So if you're not doing those tier eight yet, really try to do those. It's gonna be, not only are you gonna get better gear, but you're gonna get more progress on your season journey. Uh, and then, and I, I that's great, especially if you have alts, you're planning on playing alts through delves. Uh, definitely recommend that. Not a huge deal to finish this journey in any significant time. If you don't, it's not a big deal. Um, and, if you do open a tier 8 bountiful chest, you actually get 250, I believe, rep. So if you just do tier 8s and you don't do anything else, um, I think it's like, it's upwards of like 170 or something delves. But then obviously there's a bunch of different rewards that you can get. Every Zekvir uh, empowered group of mobs that you find also gives you rep. Um, so there's, there's a whole bunch of ways that you can increase your season journey. But don't feel like... This is, don't feel like this is a grind that you need to do. Um, honestly, this just kind of happened by me doing my eights uh, on, I had three characters just doing eights. So uh, don't stress too hard about it. Just have fun and get delving. All right, this was a longer daily delve video. Let's get this sucker out. I love you. Never give up, never surrender. You, you, you get delving.